This video describes the debugging process for a GPS serial. As most of you know, there were some issues with uh, getting GPS uh, properly to work with Navigon and TomTom, Tom. but uh, I'm happy to say that these bugs uh, have been resolved. Um, in order to debug the whole process, what I did is uh, I recorded a GPS trace uh, during my drive outside with the iGPS 360 module and downloaded it to my PC and then used the PC to play back uh, the GPS trace uh, to the iPod that we have here. Um, what you see here is a little interface board uh, which is hooked up to uh, the desktop computer and the desktop computer plays back uh, the GPS data and then the GPS data enters the iPod through a little breakout board here. And what I'm going to show you is, uh, in this case, uh, I have a Navigon installed on the iPod. This, uh, this app was purchased uh, from uh, the App Store. And in some cases, uh, some of the navigation apps uh, do not directly um, install onto your iPod, um, but after you've purchased them, uh, you can manually install them. I'll make another post on that at some point in the future on how to do that exactly. So we've booted up Navigon here, and we're going to show the map. And actually the trace that the computer uh, will be playing is uh, one that I recorded earlier on that had some problems. Um, so since no GPS data is played yet, you will see the red GPS bar. Um, so we're going to start the trace on the computer. So we're going to play back the GPS data. And you can see uh, Navigon starts uh, showing the arrow. Um, I'm sitting still in the car here at this particular point and we have to wait uh, till I start moving, which is the case now. And in an earlier version of uh, a GPS serial, the uh, arrow would actually move uh, backwards on one of these uh, streets. So as you can see now, um, the arrow is moving, uh, is actually in the right direction. I'll see if I can speed uh, the trace up a little bit. Let's wait uh, till it goes around one more corner here. See if we can zoom in a little. So when I recorded this GPS trace, I was going to drive around the corner here, in which case the arrow would move in the wrong direction. But as you can see now, um, it actually correctly follows um, the direction I was driving in. 